Hey, what's up, my earthlings and life beings? This is Rod D of Orange Ninja News, where news is what we do, man. We talk about the news. All right, another day, ready to play. Okay, uh, today we're going to talk about uh, some of the fake fights. And when I say fake fights, I mean like the fake boxing matches and stuff. Well, we could call them exhibitions or whatever like that, but some people be thinking that they're more than what they are because if you take somebody who's um, a real official boxer such as Floyd Money Mayweather and you have him box a nun boxer that's not really you know that's not a real boxing match it's not a commission boxing match and um, it's not like if you got beat somebody comes world champ who never boxed before it's not a real boxer so yeah you know there's steps to it and you have to go through the official channels and stuff like that to be for it to be a real actual official boxing match so you know it's like at the another great champion uh muhammad ali he would do these little exhibition matches where they have him like he went over to japan to um do a little exhibition match with the champion over there and the, the guy was a jiu-jitsu artist and they kind of played around in the ring and jumping around you know little stuff like that not real actual matches and stuff like that uh we call it wrestling the bear because like at the end of a uh, champ's career you know he can still make money on the side go and do little side hustle matches which uh you know they're not official they don't mean anything but it, you, you make money off of it, you know, it's a little, um, you have a little spectacle and you make your money and, you know, it's just ha-ha funny and, you know, it's just chill. But, uh, and I don't see nothing wrong with that. And if Logan Paul and what's the other one name? Logan Paul and whoever the other Paul. Logan Paul, Sean Paul, some kind of Paul. <laughs> Yeah, man, but you know, they, they find a nice little hustle and get their money on, that's good, man. So, um, but, but, the, but when it comes to uh, trans guys, uh, transgender guys saying they identify as women and going into women's sports as far as uh, women's wrestling, women's boxing and stuff like that. Now, that's where we have to draw the line, man. I, I say uh, uh, hats off to Caitlyn Jenner for calling that out. Like, you know, some stuff is just, you know, you, you, got, you got to call the line on it. You know what I'm saying? You, if the person was born a man, the person was born a man, period. Whether they wake up one day and think they're a woman or not, hey, you don't belong in no boxing ring with a woman that was actually born a woman. It's unfair. It makes no kind of sense, man. That would be considered cheating as far as like where the Olympics or whatever like that. They would uh, test the person. If everybody was like, hey, this this person, they're cheating. They uh, slipped the dude on their uh, Olympic swimming team or whatever and dress it up like a woman or whatever, and they can um, actually uh, run tests. All the doctor had to do was take a blood test, and you could run a test, and, uh, nah, this person was born to do, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, how does it go from being cheating to now that that's uh, considered a thing like this? Uh... So if you do that with uh, between the males and females, then how is steroids still cheating? You know, all the guy got to say, yo, this identifies as vitamins, and I'm not taking steroids. I'm taking vitamins because they cons they um, consider themselves as vitamins, so it's not cheating. I mean, if we take that part off and just open the floodgates, then all all the other crap that they consider as speak as cheating in sports, they should go ahead and um, just open the floodgates. Like there is no cheating in sports no more. A guy could. Uh, ride a motorcycle in a in a bicycle competition because his motorcycle identifies as a bicycle so that shouldn't be considered cheating you know what i'm saying it's like come on man 
at some point you have to draw the line and use common sense um so that's that's what i'm saying as far as like the like the fake sports you got to be like you know the exhibition stuff you know like i say that's that's different because nobody's actually getting hurt you know what i'm saying it's two grown men and we hype it up and we have it all over the press and the media and everything and so the guys can make good money and like the 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 Paul brothers they uh went from social media and these guys are real smart and slick and they figure a way to okay I could do one exhibition match and make more then I would make on social media, I can make, an, if I hype this uh, exhibition match up enough, I can live the rest of my life off the earnings. I can uh, just live off the, uh, just live off the money by making the right investments. And then I can go and, you know, also get other companies behind me and market it right. And, you know, I never have to work again. And that's that's really smart, man. Instead of having to steady be at it and steady in front of the camera, do a couple of key moves and set yourself up for life. Uh, I don't see nothing wrong with that, man. So I'm I'm definitely not hating on him, man. I ain't no hater. I'm a congratulator. So I say as far as the the Paul brothers, man, they they real smart on what they doing. But you know, I see like a, a lot of arguments back and forth where guys are getting confused and thinking that like it's a real fight and <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. One guy, which is Mayweather, you know, he's been fighting all his life on a professional level. Ever since he was a kid, he was training and he went through all the steps and did everything he was supposed to do to officially become the champion. Uh, his contender, of course, hasn't, you know? So you can't really say uh, that it's like a, a real fight. I mean, an exhibition, yes, because an exhibition is something different. And I don't know. I don't know how I can explain the difference in the two any better than that, man. I mean, it's, it's something set up for our entertainment, basically. And, you know, um, but... Yeah, it's going to it's gonna make a lot of money for both camps. I mean, if you thought Mayweather was going to make a good payday from it, then you, you're kind of confused. He wouldn't waste his time. Why would he? I mean, it wouldn't make sense. So it's, it's good for both sides, man. And, uh, and hopefully they get a huge following. A lot of people watch. Yeah, yeah it's all good. But, yeah. I think fake fights are overshadowing the, the real thing these days. But with that said, about this time, as I usually say, y'all be blessed and peace.